and paragraph. Two short lines like equal when marked underneath an outline indicate the initial capital letter. The normal full stop sign is used as vowel sign in shorthand. Thus different punctuation marks are adopted in shorthand. Grammar locks is the fourth topic of this lesson which we will discuss today. A grammar log is a frequently occurring word represented by a single sign. The sign for a grammar log is called a logogram. Some logograms of the signs are given below which one must remember by heart. Now you may test your knowledge by answering the following questions. What is a grammar log? Grammar log is called dash. Make sign of the following. Full stop, dash, mark of interrogation. Write in shorthand, A, the, to, each, out. Now let us take up the last topic of the lesson, alternative signs for R and H. Consonants R and H can be written in two ways. R can be represented either by a downward curve or an upward straight line. Similarly, H can also be represented either by a downward stroke or by an upward stroke. Rules for R The consonant R initially is written downward if a vowel precedes as in case of air and Arab. The consonant R is written upward if a vowel doesn't precede, as in case of rope. And rock. The consonant R at the end of a word is written upward if a vowel follows as in case of the word carry. And downward if it is not followed by a vowel as in case of the word car. R before M is always written downward as in case of word Ram Aroma and Arm Now rules for H. The upward form of H is most commonly used. The downward form of H is written when the letter stands alone or is immediately followed by consonant K or G. Upward form of H. This you can observe from the strokes representing the following words. 
हो हैट हीट डाउनवर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ एच कैन बी ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स हा हे ही यू मे ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व एच फॉलोड बाय अ कॉन्सोनेंट हे हॉकी Now you may test your knowledge by answering the following questions. Fill in the blanks. R is represented by dash strokes written in dash and dash directions. In the beginning of a word R is written when preceded by a vowel dash when followed by a vowel dash before m dash r stroke is used the two forms of h r dash and dash hockey is written with dash h happy is written with dash h in the last let us quickly grow through and summarize the lesson intervening vowels and positions first place vowel signs when occurring between two strokes are written after the first stroke Second place vowel signs when occurring between two strokes are written after the first stroke. Third place vowel signs are written before the second stroke. The position of an outline is governed by the first sounded vowel in the word. Grammar log. A grammar log is a frequently occurring word represented by a single sign. The sign for a grammar log is called a logogram. Alternative signs for r and h. Consonant r and h have two forms, upward r and downward r. Similarly, upward h and downward h. Downward r is written initially if a vowel precedes. Downward r is written before m. Upward r is written if a vowel follows downward h is written if it is standing alone downward h is written if it is followed by k or g upward h is commonly written alternate use of r and h will be explained in detail in a subsequent chapter thank you we will meet again the next session
You have already learned about the various consonants, vowels, their joining, and representation of vowel in between consonants. A number of words in English language use more than one vowel sound consecutively. Therefore, in this lesson, we shall study how to write in shorthand more than two vowel sounds in union. In this lesson, a student is trained to make strokes of vowel signs which occur consecutively more than once. In addition, he, she is also made to understand the concept of shortening. In this lesson, a student is trained to make strokes of vowel signs which occur consecutively more than once. In addition, he is also made to understand the concept of shortening the strokes of consonants W. Grimlocks pertaining to the concepts or abbreviated W are also explained in this lesson. A student is expected to observe the strokes and do rigorous practice for making each type of strokes. The first topic of this lesson which we are discussing today is diphthongs. Diphthong is the union of two vowels in one sound. Syllable diphthong can also be defined as union of two vowel sounds occurring consecutively and pronounced simultaneously. There are four common diphthongs namely I, I, Ow, you. These diphthongs can be remembered by the sentence I enjoy now music. The signs I and OI are written in first position. For example, tie. Toy The diphthong sign Au and U are written in the third position. For example, Cow Duty. Joining of diphthongs. The diphthongs can be joined to a stroke as per the convenience at the beginning or ending of a stroke. Some examples of diphthongs joined to a stroke in the beginning are given here. Item.
आइस सेमी सर्किल फॉर डिपथोंग यू कैन बी ज्वाइंट विथ स्ट्रोक्स एट द एंड एंड कैन बी रिटर्न इन कन्वीनियंट डायरेक्शन सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिपथोंग्स ज्वाइन टू ए स्ट्रोक इन द एंड आर गिवन बिलो इश्यू ड्यू View. Strokes L and M, when suffixed to diphthong I, are abbreviated as shown here. I will. I may. I am The next topic is triphones Triphone represents three vowel sounds which are represented by one sign Triphone is formed when any other vowel is joined with a diphthong Third vowel sound which is represented by a small tick attached at the end of the diphthong is called triphone For example, diphthong I plus vowel A, I, as pronounced in diary. Diphthong I plus vowel A, I, as pronounced in loyal. Diphthong आउ प्लस वॉवल ई आव एज प्रोनाउंस्ड इन टॉवल डिपथोंग यू प्लस वॉवल ए यू ए एज प्रोनाउंस्ड इन एटेन्यूएट After completing this topic let us discuss about abbreviated w Abbreviated w is the short form of consonant w which is represented by a right semicircle The initial sound of w before k g m and r is represented by a right semicircle for example वेक वुमेनिश वियर वैरी abbreviated w will not be used if a word is preceded by a vowel when w is preceded by a vowel the stroke must be written without using right semicircle as shown in the following examples awake awoke aware Finally let us learn to make the strokes of grammar locks using the diphthongs or triphones or abbreviated w Some more grammar locks related to topics studied till now are given in the table which one should remember by practicing Now you may test your knowledge by answering the following questions. Fill in the blanks. The diphthong i and oi are written in dash position. The 
the diphthong au and u are written in dash position what is a diphthong explain with suitable examples what is a trifon explain with suitable examples write the places of diphthongs what is abbreviated w in which situation w is represented by a right semicircle In the last let us summarize the lesson diphthong represents two sounds total number of diphthongs is 4 first place diphthongs are i and oi third place diphthongs are au and u no second place in diphthong Typhoon represents three sounds that is diphthong plus any vowel initial sound of w before k g m r is represented by a right semicircle thank you we will meet again in the next session